hello and welcome to the tech crazy channel in this video i will explain you about the why metrology and its objectives and types means why we need to study the metrology and what are its main objectives and main types first of all why metrology means why we need to study the metrology if you see in the day to day life so metrology plays very important role suppose if i give the example suppose if i give the best example simple example suppose if you go to the kirana shop and if you want to purchase the sugar suppose, suppose let us say 1 kg of sugar suppose if you don't know the term that is 1 kg then you cannot communicate with the shopkeeper means shop person so you cannot say that uh, i want 1 kg of sugar please give me 1 kg of sugar so you cannot say like that because if you don't if you don't know the uh, what you can say metrology term that is 1 kg so that's why it is important to understand the the metrology so so that you can make it uh, more useful in the day to day life so you can see that measurement has become a natural part so you can see in the day to day life so we use many times metrology if you go to the kirana shops so you need to have the knowledge of weight uh, that is 1 kg 2 kg etc if you do if you go to the petrol bank so you need to have the knowledge of so measurement of the petrol that is 1 liter 2 liter etc so like that in many places so if in many uh, areas so if you want to interact so you need to have the proper knowledge of the metrology so that's why we find almost impossible to describe anything without measuring so without measurement so we cannot uh, express or describe many things so that's why measurements or metrology is very important so to explain the importance of measurements so lord kelvin so he is the scientist so what he said is i often say means he say many times that when you can measure what you are speaking about and express it in numbers so you know something about it that means if you are speaking something if you are able to express in terms of some numbers then only that whatever the knowledge indicates that you know something about it but when you cannot measure it when you cannot express in terms of numbers then your knowledge is of a merger and unsatisfactory kind means agar aapne kuch express nahi kar sakta hai whatever you are having the knowledge so the whatever the knowledge is unsatisfactory kind so that is not much useful so that's why whatever you are speaking whatever you know you should be able to express in terms of particular numbers suppose if ask someone what is your uh, what is your height so if you don't know uh, how to express in terms of units particular numbers then your knowledge is waste okay so that's why it is important to express whatever your knowledge so whatever you are speaking in terms of particular numbers otherwise so that is useless so there are few objectives so just i will uh, read out these objectives so you may not able to understand properly because so we are going to these things in detail in the further syllabus so first of uh, objectives are to produce the uh, sorry to reduce the cost of inspection and rejection and rework second one is through evaluation of newly developed products and to ensure that components are within specified dimensions third one is to determine process capabilities so next is to standardize measuring methods 
afterwards to maintain the accuracy of measurements through periodical calibration of the instruments afterwards to prepare design for gauges and special inspection fixtures so i don't go in detail uh, about these objectives so because so we are going to study these objectives in detail in the next coming syllabus okay so these are the only few objectives these are these are the main important objectives there are many other objectives but i listed here only few important objectives of metrology so next is types of metrology first one is scientific metrology second one is industrial third one is legal metrology and fourth one is fundamental metrology there are four types of metrology so let us see one by one first one is scientific metrology so scientific metrology means so this is concerned with this standardization of the measuring units measuring methods like suppose uh, we are going to study the different types of standards that is international prototype meter imperial standard aired so there are different standards so we are going to study it later on so whatever we are going to use the measurements like meter so we are always we are we use the meter to measure the length so why we use that so this is this that is standardized globally globally usko standardization kiya hai so who will going to do that standardization so that is by the scientific metrology so uh, the main aim is of scientific metrology is the function of scientific metrology is to create the standardizations create standards and make the different different developments in the metrology so next is industrial metrology so industrial metrology involves the whatever the measurements that is done in the industries and its calibration of measuring instruments and etc because if you can see so every industry will be having their own set of laboratories that is quality control labs so in that labs so they will make the inspection of different parts or products so whatever they are going to manufacture and also they make the calibration of measuring instruments calibration means it is checking the presence of any errors in the measuring instruments so we are going to study in detail about the calibration in the next afterwards it is legal metrology so legal metrology is it is a uh, what you can say it is a team which is developed by the different governing bodies like uh, state bodies like uh, central governments so different governments they will make the different uh, what you can say body so which the main function of that body is to check to check whether there is any what you can say any economic faults like suppose if you give the exa- if i say example suppose if you go to the petrol bunks so you will if you you will purchase one liter of petrol so in display it will show one liter but in actual so we don't know whether it is one liter or something less but who is going to check that accuracy so that is checked by the legal teams so they will randomly visit the different shops so different such units where in it involves the measurements to the people so they will check the accuracy and if there is any such uh, mal practices so if there is any such uh, things like suppose if they are giving less as than the what they are showing so then they will take the proper actions so that is legal metrology and last one is fundamental metrology so this function this involves the, this is a combination of all the three metrology that is scientific industrial legal and fun that is combination of all the metrology that is fundamental metrology so in the next video we shall see the uh, few more topics 
so thank you for watching this video so i like i like i request you to like share and subscribe to the this channel thank you all bye see you in the next video